So I've pretty much sworn off of ordering from Hot Topic unless it's an exclusive, but I still have a bunch of pre-orders with them that I ordered like last year, back in December, that are still trickling in. Now that's not Hot Topic's fault. There's been tons of delays with Funko this year, and that's not their fault either. It's because of the pandemic, which is because of humanity, but it's not really their fault either. It's the fault of that first animal that decided to crawl out of the ocean and start evolving and thinking it's so smart with its brain and everything. It's that little fucker's fault. But long story short, I'm still getting Funko Pops shipped in bags from Hot Topic. This one doesn't seem that beat up, but I wanted to open it up on camera for those of you that like Schadenfreude, but hopefully you'll be disappointed <laughs> and these are okay. I also received a mystery box out of the blue from an old time subscriber, and I really have no idea what's in that, and I'll open that one up too. But first, let's puncture this sec. So you see here, hopefully that didn't go all the way through. Probably did. And, yep. Got some damage here. Not terrible. Could probably flatten out, but it is creased, unfortunately. Um, but this is the Queen of Hearts with the Little King. Really like this pop. I do have the original Queen of Hearts where she has the croquet mallet. That's a flamingo. Really love that one. I like that one more than this one, but... I also like the fact that the little king comes with it, so I wanted to get it. But yeah, damaged because it was shipped in a bag. Goes right through to the pop. Real shitty. Don't buy from Hot Topic. And the March Hare. And he... Seems okay. Also a really cool looking pop. But, you know, if you're an out-of-box collector, whatever, it doesn't matter. But, if you don't care about box damage, that's great. You still shouldn't order from Hot Topic because there's cheaper places to get your pops. If you're going to pay a little bit of a premium, you know, $11, $12, $13 for your pops, there's safer places to get them where there's a better chance you're gonna get mint boxes. The way it stands now, I see no reason to order from Hot Topic because it's not the cheapest place and they no longer send mint pops. It seems like you got a 50-50 chance of getting something damaged because they're shipping in bags. <laughs> now, <laughs> this box took quite a beating. Um, yeah, so, my post office are a bunch of rat bastards. Maybe this box was already this way, um, and it's just being reused. Or someone at my post office sat on it. Who knows? Either way, this is from one of my subscribers that has been watching my channel for about five years, I think. His name is Toll the Towel Man. Super nice guy. Didn't tell me he was sending this. I just got it. So thank you very much, Toll. That's very nice of you. <laughs> so I'm guessing you've been watching my recent videos where I talk about the Hello Kitty Pops. And you've probably seen the ones where I'm opening up fig pins. This is awesome. And it's unlike any fig pin I've seen with the white down here. I had no idea they even made Hello Kitty ones, but <laughs> that's awesome. Nice heft to these. I'm really liking these fig pins. Really a nice collectible. That's awesome. Oh, and it looks like another one. This is Jubilee of the X-Men. Oh my gosh. 
This is the chase. I don't think Figpin lets you know which ones are chases, but the Jubilee with the sparkles is the chase. That is awesome. Man, so Toll, I don't think he's been making videos lately, but he used to make videos years ago. And I don't know what it is about his hometown, but they get a lot of chases and he seems to find them all. And he came through with this Jubilee fig pin. Awesome. Really like Jubilee. Really cool to have a fig pin chase. That's freaking cool. Oh, we got a little Hot Wheels. Ollie Rocket. <laughs> and look how nice this card looks for it being in that smashed up box. Really cool. Never seen this one before. So I'm not extremely familiar with Hot Wheels. Very new to the hobby of collecting them. So right off, you know, the top of my mind, I don't know if these are from this year or not. I don't even know where to look to see what year they're from. But I've never seen this one. And it looks pretty sweet. Oh, look how cool this one looks here. The Mercury Cougar. And I know that the treasure hunts have these little symbols down here, but, you know, I'm not sure if this is one, but it does have this really nice metallic paint on it with these flames. This is awesome. Really cool looking car. Card's really nice too. That's really pretty. That's cool. Mercury Cougar 68. I love the realistic looking cars. This is really, really nice. Loving this green on this one. Okay, so here's another one. Oh, so I'm guessing. Okay, so. Can you see the difference? Okay, so Toll sent me a super rare treasure hunt car. Now the difference here is it's got this little symbol underneath. This one doesn't, but if you look close, see the see the little TH there? It says treasure hunt. And it doesn't say it on this one. And the tires are made out of rubber on these. They're plastic on these ones. And the paint job is just more metallic, shinier, more candy on the treasure hunt. So treasure hunts are the Hot Wheels chases. And they're very hard to find. You know, there's no real indicators on them besides those little tells, right? It just looks nicer. And I can't believe you just sent me this. This is really awesome, man. Thank you very much. I don't have any treasure hunts. This is the first one. And it's a really, really cool one to have because I really like this car with the green flames. Really, really awesome. Reminds me of the wildfire on Game of Thrones. All right, guys. So in conclusion, Toll the Towel Man is really awesome and Hot Topic isn't.